Great day books and today we have some summer reads for every age group. Yeah, Lori Fazio from RJ Julia Booksellers is here with options for little learners all the way up to adults because summer is the time that we want to maybe kick back and read a little. Yeah, it's true. We have some fun, fun things. I'm actually going to start. So Scott, I'm going to have you open to where I have that marked and I'm going to have you be our ringmaster today with the great Zepfino. So this right here. Oh, the great Zepfino. I'm going to have okay. you read that right there and be our ringmaster. And now before your very eyes, the great Zepfino. Zafino will perform the thrilling Leap for Life. Prepare to gasp as Zafino drives 10 terrifying stories through the air, landing on a tiny trampoline. Zafino will dodge peril and brave cl uh, calamity and an impossible feat of daring do. So, those are basically the only words in this entire picture book. Watch and awe. Zafino defies fate for your entertainment. That's, That's it. right. That's it. The great thing about this is that you can then look at the, and there's a few words here and there through it, <laughs> oh but there's God. all these pictures about this, this great Zafino, but you could be the ringmaster and your kids can create the story as it goes along. Look at this. So you look at the picture and then ask them to take a story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is a really creative way to get them involved in the, the you know, process of story. Storytelling. The illustrations are remarkable. It's all black and white. It's just, it's so, it's funny, and it's, you know, you're on the edge of your seat a little bit, you know, as, as a, you know, for a picture sure, book. Sure, absolutely. And there's some, you're like, what's going on? What's going to happen? And you could retell the story in different ways every time. That is so beautiful. So it's such a fun picture book. Love it's it. a really yeah, it gives beautiful you a picture creativity. book. Okay. Yeah, a lot of creativity. I also brought um, this book, Will Get You to Sleep. Yeah. And this Parents is. Parents are like, I want that uh, one. Me yeah, too. you want this one. You may not want this one because basically, you know, your your kangaroo here is is yelling. It's time to go to sleep. And uh, I'm Morning. Gonna, Occasionally, some readers have a slightly different reaction. <laughs> so it's very, you know, he's like, Are you asleep yet? Oh, maybe I'll try this. And he's like, Let's try, you know, banging pots and pans. Let's, but it's really, really funny. You know, very silly. You know, the kids. I mean, it may not be the best bedtime story, but it's really adorable and fun and. You know the sheep. They eventually go to sleep, and okay, you know, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I brought a nonfiction because you know there there are some kids that don't want a story; they just want to learn. So I brought nonfiction about whales. It tells you oh. all about the different kind of whales out there, different facts about them. There's pictures in there. Um, it tells you like about the blowholes and like how many there are in this kind of whale, how many in this kind of whale, the biggest whale is the blue whale and you know it just gives you That's a lot wonderful. of facts in there. But but not where they're reading like an encyclopedia. Yeah. You know, there's basic pictures. facts. Yeah. So as a picture nice. book it's it's pretty um, you know explanatory uh, yeah. oh, this but is really blue wonderful. Whale skeleton, right. you get to learn um, that they have flipper bones. And this and isn't just bones. a fluke. No. Uh, <laughs> took me a second. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, so that's part of the it. whale. Um, uh, beautiful. So speaking of, uh, well, you know, the water, then I also brought a graphic novel. We've talked about graphic novels yes. before, how they are fabulous books. Swim Team. This is not only a graphic novel. It's about um, a girl who's just moved, so she's starting a new school. She's got to try something new because she all of a sudden ends up on the swim team. She's not really sure how. She doesn't really know how to swim. Oh, my right? God. So she's, she's starting that. Someone in her apartment building where they live is, um, she used to be a swim um, a swimmer and instructor, so she's helping her along. So there's a lot of great stories in this, a lot of little messages in this. Fiction, nonfiction. Fiction. 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 Okay. Totally fiction. Terrific. Um, and then a young adult book. So Ruta Sepetis is a fabulous historical um, writer. This is for young adults. This is Romania, 1989. Part of history that we don't really know, you know. So your teenagers are really going to get some history in this, as well as a lot of good reading. She, I love this author. She's a page turner. Just fantastic. I have Ruta Sepetis. Ruta Sepetis. Ruta Sepetis. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Fantastic writer. And I'm, it's a page turner, so it's dramatic and it keeps going. But they're going to learn on, as about a time period. Yeah, they're yeah. going to learn about. Yeah, and I didn't know about this time in history really. Romania in 1989. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's, it's, so there's a lot of details in there. Okay. Yeah. So I started reading uh, something in the Crawdads. Where the Crawdads sing. And I'm can I, I get to page two and I'm like I have to reread this over and over again. So so stay with it because I'm stay, there's I'm a gonna lot stay of, with it. you know there's some back and forth but you're gonna get the story. Um, actually, a whole bunch of us um, from booksellers went to the Madison Art Cinema the other night and we saw the movie. They, oh, was it was it good? very well done. Okay. okay very good. very well done. But stick with the book because. 
there's some flashbacks. You know, you're going to get the childhood, yeah, and then it's going to bring you back. Yeah, I'm not going to see the movie until I watch the, read yeah, the book. Yeah, read the book, because it'll definitely make more sense to read the so, book. So, yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. But there, so what, the, she's flashing back. That's what's happening. She's yeah. flashing back. So it's starting yeah. with, you know, there's a there's a murder mystery, right? It's right. basically a murder mystery. And but then it's like, how did you know, this girl become who she was? And then it goes, starts as her as a child, and what happened in the family, and how she became known as the Marsh Girl. And Okay. Yeah. Where'd you get your necklace? Beautiful. Uh, my brother gave this to me um, for my birthday one year. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love. I wear it a lot in the summer. That's yeah, right. It's nice. Well, Very nice. Thank you more often. You guys, a lot of compliments. Yeah. Yeah. Well, come here. I'm come. like, I like your top. He's like, I like come your necklace. <laughs> well, we like your books. Okay.